headlines this hour. It is high time people of various communities took firm decision to live together in harmony. Stresses in Gate Mingham. Oh, sorry, our Gate Mingham. Manipur colleges not being able to be listed in national ranking is a shame, says Union Minister of State Dr. R.K. Ranjan. India adds 13,596 COVID-19 cases, lowest daily rise in nearly eight months. Family once ostracized over death of a person at Kumbi Sedpul appeals to government, locals to let them return back home. COVID-19 naging aktok na ba? Miyam na sapo na toy na kut hambiyo. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Box ning tina niyom chum na upiyo. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi, mi amaga, mi amaga di marakta, fit taruklap na hambiyo. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello and welcome back to ISV English News. M. R. K. Meghan emphasized the importance of the communities who are brothers and sisters residing together in Manipur to take a firm decision on living in harmony, otherwise warned of misfortunes that will fall upon the people. He made the statement attending a function at Lamyanba Sanglen. He further said it's been ages since communities residing in Manipur come together in unity to work for a cause due to various impacts as each community has been indulging in work that focuses only on the respective group the notion of working together for development is no more among the people this has led to differences among the hill and valley regions he said he also said he is skeptical whether manipur has lost its true governance after the state merged with india R.K. Megan also cautioned whether democracy has lost its significance in the state while highlighting how the present government has formed after the previous election results. Data collection, the middle of the lag, third in the farm. Lag contrast of the me machine, the middle of the lag, third of the single caribbean with the regions. After the complete century, long to long the issue, no ball on the century. I do machine yam, the fruit, the part of the meditation, ten lags more, eleven lags more. Massy middle of the machine. So he tried to be hand in hand. Other than the Manipur economic development, Tony Tony Harris, Kanagi development, or doing up. Lambam C, yellow missing, or do you have to talk to you? So many questions go. Other than I see a great Manipur yellow missing, or singing in an house, man, to one to one, my political and land generally. Other to one to one, but my ideology to none in carton, but he. Responding to a query raised by media persons, R.K. Megan informs that he has no interest in contesting elections or joining politics. Their politics is different from the present one. Brinda, preparing to contest in the upcoming election, is solely based on her own decision. He is not part of it, he added. I have a politics, a political 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 system a political politics, a political politics, a political politics, a political politics, a
Union Minister of External Affairs and Education Dr. R.K. Ranjan said it was unfortunate that none of the colleges of Manipur were included in the national ranking list. He said this at the inauguration of the indoor stadium of Kumbi College, which was constructed at the cost of Rs. 7 lakh under the UGC 14th Finance Commission. Union Minister R.K. Ranjan further said he will extend all possible help in developmental projects proposed by the college under the new education policy. He also reminded the teachers to work sincerely and not for the sake of the salaries. <laughs> Karigumba Central Government ki under University Grants Commission ki makada new education policy sida college sina apun phana hai riba zaga sigi Bharat Sarkar na pami ba education system sida thabuk pamtu pina ba madugi project sing thara gadi madugi phangna na bohona bado adu ahi bohona zage. Former Minister N Mangi said. Kumbi College is considered the only college for not only Kumbi Assembly constituency but also for Turachanpur district and Kakching district. As such, considering the concerted efforts made by the teachers of the college, he sought the attention of the Union Minister to recognize the Kumbi College as a government college. <laughs> India logged 13,596 fresh COVID-19 cases in the last 24 hours, the lowest daily rise in the last eight months or 230 days. The Health Ministry's data showed 166 people have died of COVID in the last 24 hours. The total tally of COVID-19 cases it has increased to 3.4 crore, while the active cases declined to 1.89 lakh, the lowest in 221 days. The death toll climbs to 4.52 lakh. The daily rise in new coronavirus infections has been below 30,000 for 24 straight days and less than 50,000 daily new cases have been reported for 113 consecutive days. Now, the number of people who have recuperated from the disease surged to 3.34 crore, while the case fatality rate was recorded at 1.33%, the ministry said. ISTV News appeals to the public to wear face masks, follow social distancing norms and wash hands frequently, as advised by the experts to protect from COVID-19. ISTV News also urges the public to get vaccinated in order to protect oneself and others from COVID-19. After a man was killed over property dispute at Kumbi Setupu Ward No. 2 on August 6, 2019, and the houses of the accused along with his three siblings being burnt down by angry mob and were ostracized from locality, the siblings of the accused have been living in destitute condition, seeking shelter at different places. The outcast family has appealed to the government and the local residents to allow them to return back home. ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
Muktadi, a quay young and be the Nayum, Hi Bedu Labang, and Bibi or I Wabasi Utpa Yade, I know what I am Honagas, you may be Yumsi later, Venina, young boy. I do again, Lady Baggy, like I sing there. I know Sibi Bamus, no Sibi, the Irang, who you can go to the Inhanat, Hise, no Sibio, Tokibama, and a Toxar Hagazo, a quay with no Sibio, quay home in Samina Padene, a Pokna Pom or Venina, a Langing, a Bunu Sibio. Nerban CM. I hijacked it. I did a two bomb at Tamda. That's your innocent in the way in auction. My Maka is late, and me, my own the second Koya, the laden, Usik Wild and Pied, no Masamba Suchi. Like Tamum Kanga the Nap. Now set Nadana and Sagas, you went to the lady beside. A Mukangi, a two bomb at Tamda. I have one put the Nap. It's Hagi, where you will lamb the Oregon, Masida Pusin the Nako, Nenatan and Labigi. When I say, Hakshi Amukatan Pivi. I do I know sitting massaging that will let you to Tambapangi will let you what I come saying. I do go make my cake. I do go make my cake. Palace compound. Many renowned singers and R.K. Meghan were also present at the observance. The attendees offered floral tribute to the photo of late Nongmaitem Pahari. In connection with 15th Foundation Day of All Manipur Manpower Upliftment Center, a cleanliness drive was held in surrounding areas of Kekru Pot. Since 2011, every year on its Foundation Day, the President, Member of Advisory Boards, Executive Members of AMUK have been carrying out social service in and around Kekru Pot and planting fruit-bearing plants while paying tributes to the 18 brave hearts who have sacrificed their lives to protect the territorial integrity of the state. This year, the team from AMUK also planted indigenous plants at Kekru Pot. Speaking to media person, Secretary of Old Manipur Manpower Upliftment Center, Kwairak from Dinesh said, Kekru Pot being an important site where bodies of the 18 brave hearts were laid to rest, Amuk has been continuously maintaining cleanliness and growing plants at the place. Mira Crafts exhibition organized by Luang Pokpa Handicraft Producer Company Limited Kurai Sajor Lekai in Fal East kicked off at Narem Tong Takelambam Lekai. The crafts exhibition, which is held under Development Commission Ministry of Textile Government of India, New Delhi, will conclude on October 25. Former cooperator of IMC Ward No. 5, Hajari Mayumbobi, advisor of Shilema Handum Producer Company Limited, My Mom Diven, assistant director, Handicraft Service Center Infal, Yumnam Jagyashori, were also present at the opening function. Addressing the gathering, Jagyashori highlighted the niche of the handicrafts artisans to produce quality products with new designs and also made the products available in affordable rates. Commemorating the glory of India's gallant soldiers of 1971 war, Bishnupur Battalion of the Red Shield Division, in line with its commitment towards Awam and Jawan, Kadam Se Kadam Milau, celebrated Swarnim Vijay Havarsh at Bishnupur. The event was marked by welcoming the victory flame, which commemorated 50 glorious years of India's victory over Pakistan in the 1971 war. The celebrations on 18 October included a reed laying ceremony by veterans, SP of Bishnupur and company commander Bishnupur Battalion at the Unit War Memorial. Planting of saplings was organized as a part of Go Green Drive and as a mark of remembrance of the event. 1971 war artifacts held with the battalion were displayed for the attendees to witness with a small brief given on each by the troops. The celebrations also encompassed cultural program which included performance of unit pipe band. Company commander of Bishnupur Battalion felicitated the veterans and also lauded them for their contribution and selfless service to the nation. And now it's time for a short commercial break. We'll be right back. LCO sing the ning sing zaba. Ikai kum nazar ba ISTV LCO singi mafam da wafum kharadang ning sing jari. Madudi 
El Shio Singna Tha Tha Gi Tifam Thok Pak Pai Sa Phi Adu Tha Tha Gi Tang Tara Manga Phao Bagi Manung Da Sung Soi Soi Dena Thibi U Kari Gumba Thibi Thaba Tara Badi Tang Tara Taruk Tagi Adong Gi Portal Thing Din Zara Gani Adu Ga Tang Kunda Gi Di Adong Gi Cable Line Mutat Chara Gani Maram Adu Na Ika Ikum Nazar Ba El Shio Singna Hai Riba Tarik Asi Gi Manung Da Sung Soi Soi Dena Phi Thibi Du Na ISDB Bu Mateng Pang Biu Adu Ga Adong Gi Line Mut Kiba Matam Da ISDB Bu Warau Bi Ganu Hai Jari Ba Secretary General ISDB Network the Assam police have issued an alert about possible attacks in the state by Pakistan's inter-services intelligence based on intelligence inputs about such threats as circular issued on Saturday to the Guwahati police commissioner and all district police heads asked them to remain alert and take necessary preventive and precautionary measures. India Today TV has accessed a copy of the Assam Police Circular issued by Assistant Inspector General of Police of Assam Police Headquarters. The circular stated that RSS cadres, army areas, mass gatherings and religious places are the likely targets of the ISI. Input received from sister agency about the planning of Pakistan ISI to target individuals including RSS cadres and army areas in Assam and other places in India and threat from global terror outfits to indulge in spectacular action by resorting to explosion of bombs, IEDs in places of mass gathering, mass transport, religious places, etc., the circular read. The Commissioner of Police, Gohati City, Old District Police, Special DGP and IP, uh, Kokrajar ADGPs, Assam and all DIGs of Rangers have been asked to take necessary preventive and precautionary measures to prevent any terrorist activity. In Kerala, the death toll in rain-related incidents has risen to over 24 as more bodies were recovered. Search operations will continue in the multiple landslides hit Kakayar in Eduki district today, even as the state experienced a marked reduction in rainfall. Chief Minister Pinarai, Pinarayi Vijayan uh, urged people to continue caution. He said that the disaster management machinery in the state will continue round the clock and ask the public to avoid unnecessary travel. Prime Minister Narendra Modi spoke to Kerala Chief Minister Pinarayi Vijayan and discussed the situation in the wake of heavy rain and landslide in the state. In a series of tweets, the Prime Minister said it is saddening that some people have lost their lives due to heavy rain and landslides in Kerala. He expressed condolence to the bereaved families. The Prime Minister said authorities are working on the ground to assist the injured and affected people. He prayed for everyone's safety and well-being. And now let's go back to our main headlines once again before we went off. It is high time people of various communities took firm decision to live together in harmony, stresses R.K. Megan. Manipur colleges not being able to be listed in national ranking is a shame, says Union Minister of State Dr. R.K. Ranjan. India adds 13,596 COVID-19 cases, lowest daily rise in nearly eight months. Family once ostracized over that of a person at Kumbi Satapur appeals to government locals to let them return back home. This is the news for now. Join us again later at 8 p.m. Later. Bye for now.